Hello, hello, and welcome to a brand new episode of Russian Fishing 4. And today I am at Tunguska. Here uh, you can see the map. And today I'm going to troll from a 12 meter, 7.5 all the way to 11 and back and forth. And that's how I'm going to start over in Tunguska. Guys, it's been a very long time coming, and I can't believe it's finally here. Then I'm finally at Tunguska. So uh, let's get started here. And uh, let's throw that out. Let's throw this guy out here. Throw this guy here. Unfortunately, the other boat is not available. It's either this crappy one or that red one. And uh, <coughs> a little bit annoying. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> uh, so let's see how this goes here. Uh, are we making it towards the 11 meter hole? And no, we're not. Let's quickly go this way. Now, taimens are something I need to be very careful of. Because they will push uh, you really hard. Uh, uh, so, yeah, welcome uh, to Tunguska, guys. <laughs> it's a beautiful scenery. <clears throat> uh, the water is finally done well here not perfect it's far from it but it is much better than the other places uh, the trees and a little bit of fall colors i see on the trees as well uh overall it looks great actually and that mountain of rock over there looks really good as well uh so let's see uh what we get today all right <clears throat> let's see what our first fish is Hey, wow, look at that. 702 gram pike. Sorry, what? Pink salmon. <laughs> what am I saying? Uh, anything on our other two? No, we do not. But this is the hole we need, and there we go. Our other rod has something on it. Let's go ahead and check it out. A, a non-marker pink salmon. We will just throw that back. Because we cannot do anything with that one. Uh, we can't even cut it up into fish pieces. So we will uh, let it go and uh, wait till we get something interesting. Yeah, people have been getting trophies here. So it remains to be seen what we will get. Oh, yes. <clears throat> okay, okay. Oh. Let's decrease. Damn, this is our Tagara, guys. That's probably a tamen, perhaps. <clears throat> oh, wow. 6.9 kg Arctic char. That's what it was. <laughs> okay, something small, perhaps. Ooh. Arctic grayling. Look at that good looking fish. And we have something on our first one here. <clears throat> uh, oh, another one, but non marker, unfortunately. So we're going to throw that in. Whoops, not too far. Completely forgot. Now we're going back to where it's the 11 and 7.5. All right, more. Ooh, Arctic char. Nice. Anything from you guys? No. Uh oh. Something is on our. Let's go ahead and crank that baby up. That's a taman, isn't it? Anything big, and I'm afraid it's a taman. <laughs> Uh, let, oh, wow, la, that is not a taman. That is an arctic char. That's a nice sized one, too. 10 kg. Oh my god, so close to a trophy, guys. Ah! Oh my god, yes. Yes, we're doing so well. Oh man, that was so close. Look at that. Seven minutes, pink, ar pink salmon, arctic chars. Arctic grayling. Oh my god, yes, this is good. This is very good. Alright, what do we got here? What do we got here? Uh, another Arctic. That's a pink salmon. 800 gram. Yes. 
Yes, come to Papa. Look at that scenery over there. <clears throat> the trees are all nice and dandy. We have a river system going over there this way. And right over here is the mountain. And we see rocks have fallen over from the mountain here. That is uh, pretty darn good. I love it. Very nice. Uh, except for the ground there. Once you get closer to it, it looks worse and worse. So let's not look at it from close by. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a good looking place. I'm happy and there's just so much to do here. Uh, there's trolling. There's float fishing. Uh, there's that three rod setup where you open your reels and uh, just let the lures, the spinners, go down. Uh, the spoons, I believe. And then there's sturgeon farming over here, I believe, and then I don't know what the what happens at the pond, but it's just so much to do here. Uh, I think I'm going to be at this place for a long time. What are you? Uh, another small one. Okay, and let's see what happens next. What is this fish? Oh, an eyed. Okay, I guess we have a few... We have traveled back. We have traveled here from uh, the previous lakes and streams. What do we have here? What do we have here? Ooh, a perch? That's a fat perch. Alright, both of our rods have something on. So we're going to check them out quickly. Looks like non-markers. Uh, but, you know, that's part of trolling in this game. Because if you keep getting marker fish, you're going to make too much. Just like now. The, there needs to be a balance in this game. So let's go ahead and chop this fish up. Come on, level up, damn it. All right. So, uh, yep, let's keep trolling. I think I'm going to turn around at the end of six. And at the end of 12 and then go back right through 7.5 into 11 and hopefully we can get ourselves a trophy if not a trophy at least some very interesting and big fish like the pink salmon i'm on a bigger pink salmon i'm on a bigger arctic grayling i need more different types of fish okay something there something a small rather but uh oh man just under a marker Uh, look in front of us. Look at those mountains and the rocks there. That's pretty darn cool. Uh, unfortunately, small fish, but a beautiful view. Let's just look at that view once more as evening approaches us very quickly here. Look at that. Wow. It almost looks like Alaska, doesn't it? Up minus this grass here. It's a lot more rockier uh, and less grassy. From what I've seen in on TV, basically. <laughs> uh, another non-marker. We will get some really good ones. All right. Once again, we have something on. Can you please be a marker? Uh, yes, you are. Perfect. What are you? What are you? So unlike Volk, unlike Volkov, uh. We're just not getting a fish like the Atlantic salmon that uh, push our setups. You know, even the slightest. Lots of small fish here. Uh, until you get that taman, then you're screwed. <laughs> uh, so let's see. Uh, let's see what we get. What big we get? I mean, we did get a, a 10 kg. Where is it? 10 kg Arctic and a 7 kg Arctic. So uh, it's going well so far, I would say. And once again, same rod, we have another fish. Ooh, wow, look at that, a sharp snouted Lanuk. Damn, that is a nice size too. Look at it, it's sharp snouted. It's a longer snout than its lower lip, I guess. Very cool fish. <laughs> it just looks like someone spray painted some design on this. Oops, sorry. Uh, some design on this. Damn, that is very nice. Very nice indeed. See, we need more of those rare types of fish because uh, that just amazing. All right, I'm loving this. 
so far I've been at it for almost half hour not a whole lot of fish uh, but we do have some high quality fish I would say some expensive fish so I'm gonna keep trolling at Tunguska and we're going towards the 11 meter hole okay what do we have here both rods the line is going insane when I reel it in Okay, let's check our number one. Ooh, this is some nice sized fish. 2.2 kg arctic. Nice. I'm gonna just chop up the other fish here while I wait for the next big one. What do we have here? Another, wow, look at that. 4.9 kg arctic char. We're gonna now switch to, uh, what are we gonna switch to? Uh, so, so tree? Uh, Sauturi. Sauturi. I just bought the really big one and I wasn't supposed to buy that big one. But that's, uh, that's all I can do for now. So we are going to just drift in our boat from this 11 meter to 17 meter and we should get something like that. Oh man. Oh man. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. That was very instant. Now I'm scared. Now I am as scared of 4.5 meters. Okay, let's get in this. Let's look away, yeah? Damn it. Um, oh, I should have uh, started trolling with the boat. Damn. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna... Oh, no. No, 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 no. All right, we're going to turn right around. That is, my friends, a taman. Unless it's an Amur catfish, which I doubt. Uh, I don't recall catfish running this hard, but I've heard large ones run really hard. Uh, but this looks like a taman because it's bashing its head left and right from the looks of it. Uh, but what do I know? I don't know. <laughs> what do I know, really? Wow, this fish is really fast. Holy moly. Good thing we have a decent amount of line on this. Oh man, <clears throat> this is going to destroy our setup. <laughs> I can't even look at the fish because I've already lost a big one like this. Uh, I was looking right at the fish and I guess for just a moment there was a slack. I guess the fish turned around, came towards us and that's when I instantly unhooked. They've made sure the RNG on the unhooking is extremely high. Wow. Wow. Look at how fast this uh, fish is still going. Where are you going? Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna look at you sometimes here so that... We can follow you around. Let's keep our rod high up. Oh my, do I seriously need to drink another one? I mean, if this is the armor catfish, uh, which I doubt it is, because I think they only grow up to like, what, 5, 6 kg? Wow, that would be amazing. Uh, but this is our very first big fish at Tunguska, as long as we don't lose it, or as long as we don't get spooled, uh, we should be fine. Definitely a scary fish, I have to tell you that. Uh, this is on the 18.5 kg Tagara. Uh, once again, it is worn uh, out. So I am not making the best use of it. Unfortunately, my 26.5 kg Tagara is very uh, bad setup. Uh, because I have a 30 kg rod on it. You see how I had slack right there? That's how I lost that other big fish. Yeah, so for, as for the 26.5 kg Tagara, I still have a 30 kg old rod that I had. 
So I've had to downgrade my setup to, you know, like a 28 kg. 28 kg line and leader and all that stuff, which is why I cannot max out the break to 29. I can only go up to like 26 or 27. I think this is 100% attainment because it's way too aggressive. Overheating us again. Oh man, come on. We're not making any ground on it either. We're still losing line. I think I'm a 12 or 13 percent. Oh no, I think I'm 14 percent damage on this rod. So this is uh, I should alt F4 honestly. But I want the big fish so I'm gonna keep at it and I will see you shortly. Still pushing us, uh, but uh, we are, I think, almost there. Uh, let's just turn around towards this fish here. And there we go. Only a little bit more time here. Uh, looking away from the fish as best as I can. And it's really scary because uh, this fish instantly puts slack on your line. It just turns around or it just stops moving. And that's when the slack comes. And as you know in this game, as soon as you get slack, there's a 99.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
All right, so our one hour is over. We've caught 24 fish. Let's quickly go and see how much we can sell it for. Oh, this is the boat station. Oh, you know what? Let's go to the cafe first. I doubt I have anything for the cafe. Two pieces at 7.5 kg. Yeah, are you serious? Uh, one over two kg. No. Six over. No, we don't have that. Lake minnow. That's so cool. I want to catch a lake minnow. Look at that Siberian gudgeon. Not only do I like the gudgeon, but now they have Siberian gudgeon. Unfortunately, we've caught absolutely nothing of interest here. This has two minutes left. Uh, but I don't think we've caught anything worth for the cafe. Uh, so on this beautiful afternoon, let's go ahead to the fish market in one hour. Let's see how much we've earned. Look at that tame and holy moly, 25 kg is worth 110 silver. It sure as heck damaged our reel though, like insane damaged. Uh, Arctic char, 10 kg, 62 silver, 41, 40, 30, 27, 26. Uh, look at the sharp snouted Lanuk, 21 silver for this 1.3 kg. So these are very expensive. My God, look at this 800 gram pink salmon is 20 silver. That's some seriously good money. And 527 silver in one hour. That is amazing. Uh, that is exactly what I wanted. Uh, wow. Very, very nice. Uh, let me quickly attempt at doing a float fishing while we're at it. Balinese. Uh, let's go ahead. Nature may fly 1.5 meter. Not too far. I was not supposed to throw it too far. Okay. So, uh, reel is open. Uh, as soon as uh, it goes down, I'm supposed to lock the reel and yank it. I'm not used to this procedure, so I might struggle here. Did we get it? Yes, we did. That is a big fish, it looks like. Well, not too big. A 700 gram Arctic grayling. Nice. Yes, we got something here. Another Arctic grayling. All right, guys, unfortunately, I lost the footage. Uh, it, I messed up. All right, so I caught a few more fish on the float tackle on this guy here. And there's some decent fish too. I made 33 silver in 9 minutes. Unfortunately, I lost all of that. So I'm going to just try it one more time. With float fishing. And then we can go ahead and sell the fish. See how much it's worth. And then conclude the episode. It's taken me quite some time actually. Uh, so I think it's fair to just uh, end it after we get our next fish on the float. Uh, but floating is definitely very good. Uh, I think as like you just need to find that active spot. Once you have that active spot, oh man, you're going to make so much money. Uh, but you also need to like float fishing. I hate float fishing because it's just implemented so badly in this game. Uh, the stuff you need to do to hook a fish is just a joke. So uh, that's why I just don't like float fishing. Let's see what we got here. Oh, wow. Look at that. A Siberian roach. Isn't that cool? Wow, look at the eyes. Uh, that's very cool. How much is this thing worth? Barely a marker. Oh, it's 87 cents. Okay. I mean, no wonder it's a roach, right? So it's worth less anyway. Uh, but that is very, very cool. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. I really appreciate all your support. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, guys, enjoy.